Greetings, viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm excited to guide you through the process of setting up your very own ShadowSox server using HTTP Injector. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a secure and efficient VPN connection right at your fingertips. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Step 1. Create a ShadowSox server. Before we delve into the setup process, I want to make sure you're on the right track. If you haven't already, please watch our previous video on creating a ShadowSox server. This step is crucial and will set the foundation for the rest of our guide. Step 2. Install the HTTP Injector VPN. Now that you have your ShadowSox server ready, it's time to equip your device with the necessary tools. Head over to your mobile app store, search for the HTTP Injector VPN app, and download it. Once the download is complete, go ahead and install the app on your device. Step 3. Launch the app. With the HTTP Injector app now installed, go ahead and launch it. You'll find yourself on the app's home screen, which marks the beginning of our setup journey. Section 1. Configuring Shadow Socks with HTTP Obfuscation. Step 4. Accessing the required protocol. To get started with configuring your VPN, locate and tap on the arrowhead icon situated on the right-hand side of the app's interface. This action will grant you access to the protocol selection menu. Step 5. Choosing the HTTP Obfuscation Protocol From the list of available tunnel type options, select Shadow Socks. Now, under the connection type, choose HTTP Obfs. Don't forget to save your selections by clicking the appropriate button. Step 6. Accessing additional settings. At the top center of the screen, you'll spot a gear icon. Tap on this icon to access additional settings that will enhance your VPN setup. Step 7. Configure ShadowSox server settings. Within the additional settings menu, you'll see a label for ShadowSox. Click on the small clipboard icon associated with this label. A box will appear, eagerly waiting to receive the HTTP obfuscation configuration that you previously copied. Go ahead and paste the configuration into this box. Once you've done that, give the OK button a satisfying tap to preserve your settings and proceed on your VPN journey. Step 8. Edit Host Settings With your server configuration now established, let's add a touch of personalization. Go back to the previous screen by clicking on the arrow icon. Next, click on the pencil icon. This is your opportunity to input a valid host in the designated field. Once you've successfully done that, ensure that you save your changes. These meticulous adjustments play a significant role in enhancing both the efficiency and security of your VPN connection. Section 2. Configuring Shadow Socks with TLS SSL Obfuscation Step 9. Choosing the TLS SSL Obfuscation Protocol For those of you who prefer the TLS SSL Obfuscation method, the process mirrors what we did for HTTP Obfuscation. Select TLS as your connection method, and then paste the TLS Obfuscation configuration into the appropriate field within the ShadowSox server settings. Step 10. Configure SNI Settings After configuring the server, Take a step back and click on the pencil icon once again. Now, it's time to enter a valid SNI, server name indication, in the provided box. Once you've done that, don't forget to save your changes. Step 11. Connecting the VPN Irrespective of the obfuscation method you've chosen, it's time to take the plunge. Click on the Start button to initiate your VPN connection. Conclusion and there you have it, my tech-savvy friends. You've masterfully set up a ShadowSox server on HTTP Injector using both the HTTP and TLS SSL obfuscation methods. Your secure and private online journey is now at your fingertips. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't hesitate to show your appreciation by hitting the like button and sharing it with fellow enthusiasts. Until next time, stay connected and stay secure.